Yeah, I grew up the same third day, and um, the fact that Matt Powell just said he's about to do backup vocals for one of the songs that I wrote, and we're at Red Rocks. Can I just take you in this moment for one second? Just looking out at all of you, looking at the sky, looking at the rocks, I'm just blown away. How can you not worship in this place? There's so many people that come here. How can you not just stand here and worship? And so I'm excited to sing the song with you tonight. It's called Song of the Lamb. And I had written it a couple years ago. And you guys ever hear a story and it just, it moves you so much that it creates a response. And you can't just hear it and ignore it. You can't hear it and just kind of go on with business as usual. Uh, I heard this story, and um, Song of the Lamb came out. And it's a story about these two young men who lived in the 1700s. They're from Germany. They're just on fire for Jesus, passionate men of God. And word came to Germany that there was this island in the West Indies where there are 3,000 slaves staying there. The owner of this island, who was a complete atheist, denied the existence of God. He very boldly said, never will any clergyman, any pastor, any missionary ever set foot on my island. He, he denied access for 3,000 of these precious souls to ever even hear the name of Jesus, let alone receive him into their heart. And word came about this island these two young men, and I can just imagine them hearing the story, just looking at each other with all the zeal in their heart, saying, we can't hear this and not respond. So they decided to do something very, very radical. They decided that if they can't go there as pastors, as missionaries, that they were gonna sell themselves into slavery. They were literally gonna put chains on their hands, put chains on their feet, become slaves in order to reach these slaves. And the story goes that you know, the day came, they're getting on the boat, their loved ones, their friends, their families, just lining the shore. It was bittersweet goodbye. It's very possible that they were never gonna see these two young men again. It says the boat pulled away from the dock that they heard a cry. These two young men said, may the lamb that was slain receive the reward of his suffering. May the lamb that was slain receive the reward of his suffering. And from that very phrase, a whole missions movement started in their community that went far beyond 3,000 slaves in an island. Thousands upon thousands heard the good news of Jesus because these two young men decided that they were going to be obedient to the call of God on their lives. That they saw Jesus and said, He is worthy of everything. We will go. They said, Here is sent me. And so I'm asking the Holy Spirit tonight here at Red Rocks that as you hear this song, as we even sing that very phrase, that the Holy Spirit would create such a response in your heart that there would be many missionaries who would go, many pastors, many anointed worship leaders that would go forth and begin to declare the name of Jesus again. So sing this with me tonight. You alone are holy. are your works you have 